only 54 in the morning. I can't sleep. It's too hot, but my body's freezing. Another gray day outside. We out in Cholet, France. Woke up a little bit late. I woke up at eight, took a nap. Woke up, took a nap. That's kind of crazy. But I said, I'm gonna just stay here for about 15 minutes. I look up again, it was nine o'clock. I got breakfast until 9.30. Then I got treatment at 9.30. Then we got film at 10.10. So it's like, I'm late. I'm in a rush. I got things to do right quick because I woke up late, but I'm feeling way better than last week, man. Last week, I was out of it, man. I tried to play in the game, but I had no energy. I was sick, I had the chills, heat flashes, dizziness, headaches. You name it, last week I had it, man, but I feel a little bit better this week. I'm still sick, but I got my energy back at least. At least I, I feel like I can actually move. So I'm about to get all these tasks done, get ready for shoot around, and Get ready to get this dub on the road, man. Let's go. So we actually got some sun today. It's been about 10 days straight. I said it was gray outside, but I guess because it was early, but we actually got some, some, some sun today and I'm very excited about that. Give it, man. I'm loving Cholet right now. I mean, the city seems like it's pretty small, but they got the sun. I'll take the sun in a small city any day over a big city with no sun. <laughs> I need the sun, man. The sun just, it just brightens my day. Like I'm wide awoke. I feel really, really good. I have good energy. One thing about doing these vlogs, these game day vlogs, is I get to see how I am when I'm on the road. I get to see how stressed and how much things that I actually have to go through to make it a successful night. And it's helping me starting to pay attention to those triggers and see what's triggering me so that I can be better because I don't want to live a life of stress. I don't want to be stressed all the time on the road. So figuring out things, you know, figuring little things I can do. One thing I'm doing is I don't really like the food on the road. And this week we like on a long road trip, like a week long. So my wife normally prepares food for me, but she won't, she didn't for this road trip. And one thing I've done on this road trip um, is that I've turned this prison mentality on. It's like, I'm in prison. Like you look out this window, it's like a little window, you know, you get to see some trees, but you don't really get to see life. It's like my window at home, I get to see the city. I got a nice, beautiful yard, you know? So I'm going into prison mode, especially when it comes to the food. I don't think about the taste. I just literally just close my eyes, close my mind and just chuck down the food. <laughs> just get it down my belly so I can have the energy for the game. And that's been helping. And it's helped me not being stressed because I get stressed about being in these conditions and it's not the team fault it's just the where we at as a as a league in total we're not the nba we're not college basketball they don't have the same type of money so this is what you're left with um there's definitely better leagues there's definitely a lot of teams that don't do this but until you playing at the top level with some teams with big budgets you gotta put up with things like this so it's tough but it's manageable and one way I'm one way I'm managing it is by going in prison mode. Prison mode. <laughs> so I'm about to take the shower, go ahead and get some lunch. In and out of this sleep. Halfway sleep, halfway up. 
But I think he got the job done. I feel recharged. Feel refreshed. Let some light in here. About to lose that light in about an hour because it get dark around five. So still got a headache from being sick. Feels like it's never ending. It's been a continuous headache for five days straight. But I'm about to take a walk and take advantage of this, <laughs> this sun. Because I don't get to see this a lot. So I'm about to go take me a walk. Probably walk to this sports store called the Catalan. Might get some socks and I need some lotion because I'm pretty ashy out here. So, yeah. So I found like a little outside uh, outlet center. You know, some of my favorite stores you got. Celio, that's where I buy most of my clothes from. Maison Dumont, that's where I get a lot of stuff from the house from. Yeah. Catalan back here, sports stuff. So that's not bad. Walk starting off good. So I walked out of that store, realized they don't sell Nike socks. So that was a fail. And now I'm about to head to this electronic store, see if I can get some more uh, different Bluetooth headphones because the ones I got, they fall out. And I like the ones that wrap around my ear so that I can run with them. So I have some right now, but I paid like $30 for them at a gas station. Wasn't bad. About to see if I can find something that's more comfortable. So let's see what we get. Okay, that was one big, big failure. Store didn't really have anything in it. Um, they had the, the wireless, uh, I don't know, the, the minis, what, what, the Apple pods or something? The ear pods? When it's one and two, no string connected for headphones, I'll lose those. I don't know. I'm not on the brand trends, so. But I don't buy the headphones that's separated, that's individual, because I'll lose those. Um, yeah, they didn't have much in that store, so I just go back. But I burned about... 30 minutes, got some good walking in, woke up, ready to go, ready to play. Uh, one thing I don't understand about stores in France is like, you can't fly a drone anywhere here. But every electric store, electronic store, sell drones. <laughs> but like in France, you have to go like all the way out south, or like somewhere like in the middle of nowhere to fly your drone because it's restricted in many places. I don't know why they sell it in local stores. It's crazy. But anyway, I'm about to walk back to the hotel. We got like a little team snack at 5. It's 4.30 right now. Probably watch a EuroLeague game. See it, then it's game time. save this for tomorrow to talk about but I want to record how life really is on the road it's like I can't get a break every time it's something 
Well, since Blue, I, I've been battling a lot of things. But, um, yeah, man, I might as well give a, 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 a finishing of the, the details of the match. We ended up beating a good team tonight. Played amazing. Uh, came out very aggressive, strong on D. My stats probably ain't the best, but I think I only took like five shots. Um, but I did a lot of things on D, on offense, moving the ball, setting screens, uh, playing D, switching, being mobile, being being helping break the press. And uh, sometimes you got to do those type of things. Some games, you know, Cholet is one of the best teams in our league. And we beat them pretty easy. And we play bad. So we're off to Graveline tomorrow. It's going to be a big game for us. Play again Saturday. Hopefully I can get some energy. Hopefully I can get over this sickness. Get back to being who I am. But uh, besides that, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And... I said, man, I really like doing these vlogs because I get to look back and see like what I really was going through during those times in real time. Because before I used to say these things, but you had no memories. But now with social media and modern technology, you can document all of this stuff. So subscribe to the channel, like the video. If not, that's cool too. Leave a comment. Until next time, every day, make them pay. One day you can live a truth life. I'm out.